Well, we began January with winter storm Aspen, which resulted in most of our accumulated snowfall this season for the Hartford area. We're at 15 and a half inches, five and a half in Bridgeport, almost an 11 inch deficit for this season in the Hartford area, just about a 10 inch, nine and a half inch deficit uh, in Bridgeport. And that does include the lack of snowfall from today. We're finishing off the Hartford area, 8.37 inches of rain or the liquid equivalent of anything frozen. That's good for the third wettest January on record with uh, records back to 1905. And we are, again, not adding to that today. Connecticut's only live radar here, first alert live radar, scanning the skies with nothing to show. Winds have started to shift direction along 91 and west. We have wind speeds about 5 to 10 miles an hour with more of a west-southwest direction. A little bit uh, later to see with the switch across parts of eastern Connecticut, but we are expecting that southwest wind to continue for the remainder of the afternoon. And that's going to help to slowly pull some milder air in, which will be responsible for bumping temperatures up despite the cloud cover we're sitting at 34 right now in Hartford to our southwest 36 in Scranton 38 in New York City so not remarkably warmer compared to where we are but this is our source for our air whereas yesterday we were pulling in some of this colder air from northern New England temps in the 20s across Maine hour by hour forecast both inland and at the shoreline still showing quite a bit of cloud cover for uh, a few breaks of sun expected as we get a little later into the afternoon we'll end the day at the shoreline around 40 degrees mid and upper 30s inland here's a live look at our ICAM and winter locks right now 32 degrees of Bradley International and cloudy. Here's a live look at our ICAM in Waterbury. Also gray. This is looking live from atop the Mattituck Museum. 34 degrees in the Brass City. First Lord Futurecast through the remainder of this evening dry. And then tomorrow we uh, track this. An approaching cold front from the northwest. Despite the clouds tomorrow, more of a southwest wind will help to bump temperatures back up into the mid 40s. The front drops through on Friday. With it, we're expecting some rain or snow showers, mostly isolated in nature, not a big deal. And then sort of a squeeze play here Saturday, keeping the breeze around as high pressure starts to build in and low pressure departs. That will bring more of a northwest wind and a briefly chillier day in the forecast to begin the weekend, but certainly brighter. So for the rest of tonight, we're talking lingering clouds. We start the day off tomorrow cloudy. We will be cloudy by lunchtime, but look at this temperatures back up into the 40s recess outside. We're dry tomorrow. It's Friday on Groundhog Day when we run the risk of a few showers again, mostly isolated in nature, rain or snow, no impacts expected. Breezier and chillier on Saturday with highs in the 30s, but mostly sunny, mostly sunny on Sunday in the lower 40s. Monday and Tuesday, we keep the sunshine around. And as of today, our average high temperature for the Hartford area begins climbing. Yesterday it was 35. Today it's 36. By February 19th, the average high is 40. By March 23rd, the average high is 50. And as we get closer and closer uh, to the first full week of February, we're starting to get some signals that things will likely end up on the warmer side of average, given these orange and red shadings here, and also perhaps a bit drier. So things are trending drier as we begin the new month, which is good. We could use a break after how active January was. There's quite a bit of sunshine starting Saturday through at least Tuesday of next week, and we will have updates beginning later on this evening. We'll have one final check of the first or seven day in less than 10.